Hi everyone, welcome to The Grace Life. Now in this video today, we have a special collaboration and it's called Thrift Flip Road Trip Open Challenge hosted by Our Green Acres and Crafting Cousins. So I'm going to be linking the hosts and their channel links down below in the description box. I'm also going to be linking the playlist. So make sure full watch the video, subscribe to the channels, uh, click that like button because this helps us to grow on YouTube. And then also comment below because we would love to hear from you. So if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. I hope that you like my video. I hope that you stay and subscribe. And for all of you faithful watchers who have been with me from the beginning all along until now, I am so appreciating you. A shout out to you all. I love you guys. Now in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and use these thrifted items to create a vintage type vase. So let's see how this works out guys, come with me. Now here we are, um, we're making a bow. And so I'm using some ribbon, a lacy one and that uh, gold color one. Those I purchased at the Dollar Tree. The cardstock I got out of an old cardstock book that I purchased at Michael's and the vases I purchased at a Goodwill. So let's see what we can create with this guys. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to glue uh, both the two ribbons, the white one is a lacy one uh, on top of that little satin one, glue that together and then right in the center I'm going to use one of the gem stickers from the Dollar Tree to embellish the center. So now see, this bow came out so pretty. We're gonna go ahead and set that aside and start working with the glass. So I'm taking that bottom piece or that piece of glass and that's gonna be the stand for the vase that I'm decorating. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint that in this apple barrel pink. Um, I purchased that at Walmart. And then we're also gonna be doing the vase, the very top of the vase uh, also. So we're painting the stand and we're painting the top of the neck of that vase. So now here we're going to cut that cardstock um, in little strips so that we can go ahead and decoupage or mod podge that on to that vase.
So now what I did need to do is grab a sponge and make sure that it was wet enough in order to moisten up that cardstock. But then I wind up later on and you'll see that I needed to get a bowl of water. So this was a little bit difficult to work with the next time. I believe it's easier to use the tissue paper or napkins. Now here I am using the matte finish Mod Podge and because it doesn't matter and I don't need this particular project to have a shiny finish. A matte finish is just fine. So now you will see me struggling a little bit. Again, this card stock, it was just a little bit too hard. And so I was moistening it up. I did get it to work in the end, but it did give me a little bit of trouble, guys. So the next time you attempt this, make sure the paper is a little bit more softer than what I had to deal with. So it's always trial and error, but you know what? Keep a smile on your face and let's keep it moving, guys.
I do want to take a moment and thank the hosts for this collaboration. I want to thank Our Green Acres and also Crafting Cousins. Okay, guys, so this was a job, and I am so happy that we're dry now. <laughs> I did go ahead and trim between the pink and the actual paper from the bottom and the top. So that came out really pretty. And now what we're doing is embellishing with those gem stickers that I purchased from the Dollar Tree in those pink in the pink. And then we're gonna embellish with the bow and then start with the florals. I cannot wait for you to see the reveal. So what I do want you to see is that I use gold paint uh, in between the pink and the paper. And that's what I wanted to say before. I did that at the bottom and I also did that at the top. And I think that gave it a really nice little vintage look. So excited, we're gluing on the bow, and then we'll move on to the next step. Now I grabbed the florals that I had in my stash in my room, but you can obviously decorate your florals with whatever you like. So I think this piece came out absolutely beautiful and I hope you agree. Okay guys, so it's almost ready for the reveal. So let's head on over there. Now, I do hope you enjoy the video as much as I enjoy creating it for you. So if you like the video, click like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every single time I upload a video. Have an amazing day, guys.